the second issue that kind of keeps me on my toes. I, I would say keeps me up at night, but I try not to let anything keep me up at night. But the, but I would say the second thing is the uh, uh, the unknowns of the new. And what I mean by that is uh, we're we have incorporated new hardware into um, gigantic uh, umbilical arms for this new rocket for the space launch system. And when we're doing going through the testing process, you know there will be kind of um, unknown or intangibles or undocumented. Yeah, let's make sure we turn that valve. We need to open that valve. But I noticed if you turn it a certain way, we get a different reaction. All right? So the follow-on tests, and maybe into the operating procedure for that arm, um, it'll be written that you need to open the valve. But it won't be written that you need to open it at a rate that enables the performance of the system. We saw that, I saw that a great deal during the shuttle program. Um, we used to do a cabin leak check uh, where we pressurized the cabin to about uh, one and a half, two PSI, something like that. And in order to get a regulator to flow or a relief valve to crack, um, you had to really hit the cabin with a vacuum or you had to really hit the cabin with uh, pressurization not exceeding that three PSI or that negative PSI, but you had to hit it um, in order to crack the valve. Well, that was never written anywhere that that's how you performed the cabin leak check. It's just that the technicians and the engineers who worked that system knew that's what you had to do. My, one of the things that I'm afraid of is that we're gonna do all of this testing and evaluation and validation. We're gonna do all of these things and we're not going to adequately capture the assumptions, the um, unwritten processes, the, um, the mental gyrations that somebody will go through to make sure that that hardware works. And they're doing it with the best of intentions, but they, they may not be the person doing it six months to a year from now, or three years, or five years, or ten years from now. So we did a lot of relearning during the shuttle program because of people who were in there at the beginning and first turned that valve really fast or first opened that mechanism slowly instead of quickly, aren't there. And never wrote down anywhere, got to turn that one slow, got to turn that one fast. So, so my, uh, you know, I think the software people call it the ghost in the machine. My concern is there's a ghost in the machine in the hardware side that we haven't uh, labeled appropriately that we haven't identified, and we're going to learn it. We're going to learn it again later, um, and I, and I, you know, I'm I'm concerned that it it adds to a risk that maybe has, had already been buried in the process. Very concerned about that.